welcome to more ifc it is what it is this is the perfect way this is the right way how to make this pocket you can see that there's no joining over here there's no side scene and if you look this side also you can see there's no joining as you can see perfectly well done i'm going to break it down in the simplest form for you guys i'm going to start from a to z nothing is hidden nothing is hiding all the tips the tricks that you need in achieving this beautiful pocket it's right here in this tutorial i'm going to can see how space everything that you need is right here so i'm going to break it down the simplest and the easiest form for you guys to understand every bit of it tips secret that you need without wasting much time so let's get started So I'm going to start from the bottom. This is the bottom line. You can measure three inches over there or three and a half or four inches. So that's the bottom. It's going to depend how long the space I want to leave under it. It's going to depend that. So I'm going to mark six inches. That's the size of the pocket that I want. Six inches. And I'm going to add three or three and a half inches. Three and a half inches. And that will be the folding at the opening side of the pocket. So I'll draw my straight lines here. So it's all depend how the space that you want to leave under it you know it's all going to depend the space that you want to leave under it i'm going to leave two inches over here i mark two inches two inches also here and two inches i draw a straight line and this is the size of the pocket five inches So I'm marking five inches over here and five inches also here. So here's two inches. You need to maintain here also two inches. Then you mark two inches. Then you draw a straight line. So the lines that we mark, we're going to fold it. Then you fold this one. This one also is two inches. We fold this side also. So we're going to form the pocket. You know, the pocket is five by six. The length of the pocket is six inches. So I'm measuring, you make sure that you check your measurement right. If it's not right, then you just have to refold that part again. You can see four and a half, four and a half long. I'll trim some part off. I'll trim some part form. If you want, you can use two inch, two inch throughout. Use two inch, two inch throughout. It's gonna work. Or two and a half, two and a half. You know, the opening side of the pocket is two, uh, five inches. So you can use two and a half over there. Two and a half, so to close. So you can use two inch other side, two inch other side. So this is the pocket. And the bottom side, you can use two and a half over there. Do you understand? The bottom side, you can use two and a half. So I'm checking my pocket to make sure that I have my five inches and my six inches, right? So this is a fusing, stiff. So that's also the same size of the pocket. You can see how fit that's fit inside. This will give the pocket structured, you know, it will bring the shape out. It will make it very structured. You can see how beautiful it is. That's how it's supposed to be. 
so you put stiff inside you measure exactly the size of the pocket that you are using like i said i'm using my six by five inches so i fuse it inside the middle of it So this side, make, pay attention here. Pay attention now. Go over. Have you seen the lines here? You have to fall on these lines, and this line have to fall on this line. There are two ways I'll go by this place. Have you seen this line? Take a look. This line have to fall on this line, and this line have to fall on this line. That's how this part is being made. There are two ways how I go by this one. I don't normally do this one. You know, there's a calculation that I always use, and it's worked perfect for me. Do you understand? And I'll teach you that. That's what I'm going to use. So you do that, then you fold this side, you iron it. Then you fold this side. You make sure that they kiss each other exactly. Don't let one fall on each other. You know, it lays perfectly. They kiss each other. Let them kiss each other perfectly. It is what it is. And you do the same thing to this side. We are working at the bottom side. This is the bottom side of it. You do the same thing here. You just let, you just have to let the lines match exactly the same. Then you fold. Like I said, I have two ways of going by this part. You know, I have two ways. I don't normally do fold it this way i just check where we have two inches and uh, here you can see if there's a two inches over there here is too long so i just have to trim some part off it's too long i don't want to leave a lot of gap at the bottom side you know space so i just have to trim that's why i said that part you can make it three inches or two and a half inches is okay so here and here you just look something here you just have to fold it the way the same thing but I'll show you my method how I used to work on this one so that you know both of them what to do with it. So there are two ways. If you don't go by this one, there's other way that you can go by it. And it's also saved. I've been using that one more than this one. You know, you know, this one like it seems like sometimes take my time. It wastes a lot of time here. But other one, it goes faster. You know, the other method that I always use. The method that I always use goes faster than this one. You have to fold and make sure that, you know, it fell perfectly. They kiss each other, you know, so that you get it right spot. That's how this method is being used. And I'll show you my method, other method. So this is the close, this is the opening side of it. You can see, you just have to fold it inside. Let me trim some part off. Also. What I have seen, it is what. Please do want to subscribe, like, and share, and comment, and click on notification bell. I post videos every one is this and Saturdays. New tutorial, new styles every one is this and Saturdays. So make sure you tune tune, you know, enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. So this is the opening side of the pocket. The opening side of the pocket, you can see. I'm just putting some hemming gum over there. Fusory hemming gum to hold it down. So I'll close it this way. Then I'll close this one so this way. So this is supposed to give you this uh, the size of the pocket that you are working on. You know, the size of the pocket that you are working on. Exactly saying this is how it's supposed to give you the size. So this part I was talking about, let me show you the my method that I always use. You know. So if here is two inches, if here is two inches, I'll come on this line. Let me show you something. I'll come on this line. From that line. Then I'll measure two inches up. Do you understand? That's how I do. So, and here also, this line, I'll measure. Then I'll just join them together.
just like that and I'll do the same thing here that's what I do I'll measure it then I'll from that line that will be my starting line then I'll mark and that part also the same thing that will be my starting line then I'll just mark then I'll draw my straight line over there Then I just connect that's what this it works perfect for me it works very very fast and it's work perfect for me you know you just have to measure it whenever you measure it two inches you count the line that I just marked then you measure two inches upward then you go to the other side you measure that part then you put that side also then you measure then you just so we're gonna join this line to this line together this line and this line they have to turn over like this then you join them together so let's get to the sewing machine and let's do that so you just have to make sure that the line touches each other you can see I'm making sure that it's full exactly on it so this is the line that I drew not the one my method you know I'm drawing a straight line over there so I'm using my method to do that part so you can see Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. You want to follow follow me on my Facebook. It's more IFC. TikTok is more IFC. Whatever. Everywhere is more IFC. So give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, like, and share. Tell a friend to tell a friend about more IFC. You see, I'm connecting the dots where the lines is. Then I'm going to show. You can see I'm using my method. I'm not using the other, other, other method. You know, I'm using my method. The lines I just drew, that's what I'm using. So I'm gonna trim this part off. You know that angle has not touched it right, so I just have to top stitch it well. And I'll cut that part off. And this part I'll just cut it open, make a notch over here, and I make a notch over here. You can see you have something like this. You have to open this scene, then I flip it on. The cutting of that part, if you want to cut it, if you want, you just have to leave it like that. Just fold it in, then just leave it like that. If you want, you can. Then you just have to pull the edges. Here, you just have to go to the sewing machine, uh, to the iron board. You iron it to the size of the pocket. Make sure that everything falls perfectly. So I will go and do that and come back. You can see how smooth it is. You can see how perfect the ironing is. So this is space, a small space that we have in between. Remember, we use two inches, two inches, and we are working on five inches wide. So it is what it is. So you need to check where the pocket is, where you're going to put the pocket is, to understand. Always, the trick about this one is that you have to check the armhole, where the curve is, where the curve starts. You see, check the armhole, where the curve starts. That's where the tip of the pocket is supposed to start, to understand. Then you check from the center scene. From the center scene, you have to be like two and a half inch away from the center scene when fixing the pocket. Or you can come to the armhole side and you mark like one and a half inch away from the armhole or maybe two inches away from the armhole side then you put your pocket there so you can see i'm doing some marking over here it's very very important you know that you hold it down like this then you draw it straight a line you know let me chop this one off so i'm going to draw a straight line over here Then I let it fall like that. Don't shake it. You just have to put your hand. You have to put your hands well on it. You can see I didn't put my hands well on it, so I have to check it again. Trim this part off. You make sure that you put your hands on it strongly. Then you flip it to the other side. Then you draw a straight line also here. You can see that we're gonna have two lines over there. Then after that, you let it fall. Then you go to the bottom side. You check. You open it like this. Then you do this part also. So you're gonna get this part. So we're gonna start sewing from this part.
first starting you have to do some top stitching then just so when you reach to the end of it then you remove it you just check and see if your pocket lays perfectly to understand so you just start I just want to show you something here that's why uh, I stop so you just sew when you get to this point you can see where I end then I flip it here then I'm gonna sew that small space that we have over there you make sure that it's for exactly on the line that you drew the line that you made make sure that the tip of the pocket fall exactly at that spot so after here don't sew anything you just have to remove your thread then you check your pocket and see if it falls perfectly as you wanted it to fall so that there will not be any curve with no change balance there will not be no balancing so you check all the balance you make sure that it lays right perfectly so after that you have seen that it lays perfectly after everything lies there perfectly after everything you see that it's perfect is okay for you you see that it's okay for you then you just have to top stitch the other side you start from the other side then you top stitch then you just sew through straight line So we're done with this part. We have not done. If you do this one, you have not done. There's other part that you're supposed to pay attention. You can see that the space, you can see how perfect this part is. You can see how everything right. This is a perfect way how to do about this. So we come to the opening side. There's top stitching that you have to do. There are two ways how to go by that spot. You know. There are two ways how to go by that spot. So you pay attention. I'm gonna teach you the two ways how to go by that spot. Do you understand? You just have to open inside then you just have to top stitch this angle it will give you more grant to hold that spot and you're gonna do the same thing to the other side so there is a one step that you can do and the other way that you can also do you top stitch or you can just top stitch and you just turn it this way then you sew round you just sew straight away just so straight when you get to where the top stitching ends then you stop there then you finish so this will give the mouth grant to hold it down firmly so after that you just have to do the calf the top that one you have to do and cover on it but this is a different style I'm working on this vein a different style so I'll just have to continue doing what I'm doing you know It's what I have seen. It is what it is. So when you do the cover, what to do to cover? You just have to measure here. You can see we have our five inches exactly out of pocket. You know. So this is a star that I was working on it. So I will just continue. This star does not have uh, the cover of the pocket. You know the cap. So I will just continue doing what I'm doing. It's more IFC. It is what it is. I hope you are learning. So give me a thumbs up. Like, share. Tell a friend to tell a friend about more IFC. Follow me on my Facebook. It's linked to my WhatsApp. Talk to me. Interact with me. Do you want to Ask me questions, you know. You know, you want to talk to me, you want to say hi to me. Link me up on my WhatsApp. I can add you to my WhatsApp group, you know, to know what is going on. If you have a question, you ask. It's more IFC. It is what it is. You know, I'm here for you guys. So give me a thumbs up. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about more IFC. It is what it is. I'm here to help you guys. So, God bless everybody. God bless we all.